our team welcome back and welcome to the first sort of proper ride on the s1000 xr I had the bike now a couple of weeks but it's been a piss poor effort on my part to get some mileage for on it because i need to get the first service done and dusted and out of the way because the bike is restricted until uh, it's been run in so th today has been sort of the first day i've uh, really had time i've actually already been out for three or four hours but i'm just sort of recording now the ride home because i needed to get some other stuff filmed and i wanted to get some photographs done this is my favorite time of the year um to take a few sort of snaps worst time for riding though because look at it wet leaves is never never cool But this is the best time of the year. I love it to take uh, to take pictures of the bike and just general photography. But when the roads are dry, then it's it's fine. Yeah, so this is probably the first ride um, that we've sort of truly been getting to know one another. I've forgotten just how good this bike is. A lot of you asked in um, sort of my last episode of my uh, back on tour series. Um, if I'd be missing, or while editing that video, will I be missing the SD? Well, yes is the answer to that question. I will definitely miss the Super Duke for sure. Just for the, the raw enjoyment of that bike. I've never had a bike that made me smile so much. Um, and as I said, it is a real shame that it's gone, but onwards and upwards as i said i've forgotten how good and how brilliant this bike is just listen to the sound of it i think it's got an amazing sort of induction sound obviously completely different to the super duke but it's not so much of a it's not a screamer i would have said it's a more of it's a just sings, just sings when he gets up to that top end. So addictive. Now having added now the Cobra um, Hypershots um, end can to the bike, that surf uh, made it slightly more fruity because stock can was ridiculously quiet, you know, ridiculously quiet. To the fact that to the point that you couldn't even hear any exhaust tones so uh now we've got the cobra on slightly nicer sort of on tick over but up top the induction noise just takes over <laughs> this bike is gonna be insane when it's sort of been de-restricted you can only go you can only rev it to nine grand but even then uh, it's, it's plenty of power now they've slightly improved the mid-range on this bike which is an improvement over on the on the 2016 bike that i had but up top that up top's where it's at man last time out i just filmed a slightly smaller or shorter video on just all the extras that i've put on the bike if you missed that video then click the card in the top there and check that out well, i just pretty much go through everything i've changed and added to the bike as I said in that video, I did um, I made install videos of everything that I added to the bike, but I made the schoolboy mistake of filming it all in a one-er. And obviously I had bloody technical issues, audio issues, so it wasn't just one video that was affected, it was the whole lot. So I don't even know if I'm able to get any install vids um, out there, but so that's why I wanted to sort of go through in just a walk-round vid of everything that I've uh, added and changed and links are all in the description below if you're interested in any of the products that i've added to the bike oh, oh, so juicy. <laughs> They've got about a two hour ride now, home, 92 k's to go. So maybe catch a bit of the sunset perhaps, because that'll be beautiful on a day like this. And to be 
be honest, this bike has, um, has brought me some confidence back. I think riding the Super Duke, um, I wouldn't have said I was intimidated by the bike, but um, riding on sports tyres, especially in the mileage that I do, and riding all year round, um, it kind of knocked my confidence in the colder temperatures and in the wet. Uh, in the wet because obviously turning on or getting temperature into sports tires or keeping temperature in them I found a bit more difficult in the uh, winter so it kind of knocked my confidence um, in the wet and cold but now back on um, a sports tourer with touring tires that's uh, it's become it's almost less of an issue obviously touring tires are a bit easier to to get temperature in and to keep them warm I had a couple of I had a couple of nightmare rides one of them out with Andy and Touring of Ald. again I'll stick that uh, in the top there on the card check that out but I I just couldn't get any temperature into the tires and I was I was I was so scared I was gonna crash that day to be honest and um, yeah but that that's kind of had a knock-on effect um, to my riding later on down the line so uh, yeah happy to be back on on a set of touring tires I mean how many I went through a lot of tires on that Super Duke I think I had uh, three rears and two fronts in just over a year so again cost wise happy to be on a set of touring tires that will probably last me an entire season or entire year so that's a bonus but yeah it is definitely um, knocked by confidence riding sports tires in in winter and I've actually forgot I've forgotten how massive this bike is but it's got such a good good road presence um, feel a bit safer on uh, on this bike for sure um, but it is a he is a massive bike but I like that you know I'm a big guy I'm six foot two about 15 stone ish after lockdown put on a bit of extra poundage I'd normally be about 14 um, but it, I don't know I just feel a bit I just feel at ease on it on a big bike and it's nice to be comfortable as i said not that the super duke was uncomfortable um but you could you could crunch the miles on this all day long without an issue at all and with that added bonus of having all them beans up at the top and to be honest i've done little mileage on this um as i said i've only done 340 k's but feels like I never left it you know when I sold mine back in 2000 and when did I sell it would have been 2018 ish it just it feels like I haven't left her at all I haven't had that thing of, of getting used to a new bike straight back on and um, yeah we are at one should I say yeah, even though as I said before even though it is cold as tits um, I haven't got that feeling that I had on the Super Duke that I was kind of lacking grip in the colder temperatures. So I think I've done. I think I've done a good. Whoops! I stopped here earlier on today for a nice coffee at the lake and a piece of cake, so I can show you it on the way the way home. Cafe is just across the across across the lake there. Lovely. Oh, that had bits in it.
eventually when I pull my finger out I'll get the um, my sort of first thoughts review done on the Rooker Klima M vest just not a chance to do it but it's definitely a thumbs up from me though I've never had um, any sort of heated clothing um, but it is well, it makes the ride so much more comfortable if it just feels so good if your core is warm then everything else automatically stays warm I suppose it helps with blood flow so even your feet your hands my arms as long as your core is warm all is well some of that. Ooh, do them right. This bike definitely encourages you just to wring its neck. Just look at the colour of them trees man. I love it. According to the weather forecast this is this weather is going to be staying all through next week so could be a wee sneaky opportunity to get a few miles done. Oh, well, this is a cheeky road, if I remember. <laughs> Key music. Ah, oh, it's covered in sh. Look at it on the sat nav there. Bagger. It's looking a bit leafy and twiggy. Oh, this is looking better. No, still not great. Still not great.
Jesus, stunning. Love it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop somewhere and get a couple more snaps of the XR. that for a view. Stunning. Yeah, I definitely got some power issues with this. It's been a sod. Oh, you knobheads. Well, folks, as that beautiful sun is putting itself to bed, I am coming towards the end of today's ride. And what a lovely late afternoon slash evening ride it has been. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave me a like before you bugger off. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.